Hello again, it's Jess or Jashi Corinne, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a few of the different ways that I decide on the colour palettes that I use in my bullet journal. Getting into creative colour palettes is something that's only recently happened to me. I've always been so in awe of the creative colour combinations that have been used in the bullet journaling community, and when I first started out I really didn't understand how people could be so creative so easily. So for today, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of the places I look when thinking about a new color palette from my bullet journal. Before we get started, just a reminder that any of the equipment I use in today's video will be linked in the description box below, as well as links to any of the websites that I mention. So one of the first places that people typically like to go for inspiration is of course the internet. And one corner of the internet in particular that's quite good for inspiration would be Pinterest. Some of the quickest things you can use to search up color palette ideas on Pinterest would be, for instance, color palette ideas, or color schemes, color ideas, or anything that really gives you the impression of having a color combination. For this Pinterest search, I've just used the key terms color palette ideas, and it's come up with a whole bunch of different color combinations that I could be using to inspire something in my bullet journal. Of course, this search is really quite general, so if you are looking for something a little bit more specific, you might want to say something like autumn colour palette ideas, or blue colour palette ideas, depending on what you're looking for in particular. The next place I tend to gravitate towards for inspiration is Instagram. For this one, I'm not usually looking for colour palette ideas in the same way that I did on Pinterest, but instead I'm looking at colour combinations that people in the bullet journal community are already using. Of course, you can always apply the same principles that we used at Pinterest. However, as this requires people to have tagged their pictures with these tags in particular, it typically means that the results you get from such searches will be a little bit more limited. Of course, general Google searches can also be incredibly helpful for these things too. In just searching colour palette ideas on Google, some really awesome websites come up with some really interesting and creative colour palettes. The nice part about going to websites that specialise in colour palettes is that they typically fit their colour palette to a previous image. This gives you some really good ideas of other things you can use to decorate your spread, such as doodles. The two websites I'm showing you guys here are linked in the description box below. This website in particular is one of my favourites for colour palettes. I've used it previously for the colour palette I did in July, and also for the colour palette I used at the start of my bullet journal. Of course, instead of using websites that are dedicated to colour palettes, you can always just use a Google image search to find some inspiration for your own colour palettes. For instance, in this one I've looked up autumn colours to get those nice rich reds and oranges. You could look up something like spring colours to find more brights. And then if you're doing a particular theme in your bullet journal, you might want to use that as your search term. So for instance, beaches, galaxy, or the ever popular succulents. If you can't quite find what you're looking for using colour palette ideas as your search term, you could instead try something like colour palette generator. The website I'm showing you guys here is absolutely awesome for building your own five colour colour palettes. By pressing the generate button, it gives you five random colors in a nice palette. From this, if there are any in particular that you quite like, you can click on them to lock them in place, or you can change them slightly if they're not quite what you're looking for. With your colors locked in place, you can then press the space bar to generate new colors for the remaining ones. So for instance here, I locked in the light blue and dark blue colors before pressing the space bar a couple of times until I found something else that I thought went with these then locked that one in and pressed the space bar a few more times to find another colour that I would like with those as well. Once you've finished creating your colour palette, there's a variety of different ways you could save this. For instance, in this one I'm exporting mine as a PDF, so I can save it for later. These are the main ways that I like to find different ideas for my colour palettes. I figured what I'd do now is show you guys some ideas for colour palettes you could use in your journal. The images for these colour palettes are off a website called colourpalettes.net and it's probably one of my most favourite places to look for new colour palette inspiration. They have thousands of colour palette ideas which each come with an inspiration picture. For the ones that I've picked out for this video, I'm just using my Tombow Jewel Brush markers to find a close colour match and then putting those in the boxes on this page. 
you'll notice that for some of these, my colours don't match the ones in the pictures quite exactly. Remember that these palettes are to be used for inspiration, so don't feel that you necessarily need to have the pen colours that match them perfectly. I also find that the nice part about finding colour palettes in this way is that I end up using colours together that I typically wouldn't thought of myself. Hopefully this has given you guys some inspiration for colour palettes you can use in your bullet journal. And if you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, bye!